Well hello, um, just a little while ago I put up a video about this, this is the Your UAV 85. I had some problems with the SPI receiver using D16 mode so I switched it to D8. Now I said I'd come back and explain how you could squeeze in maybe a little bit more than you would have thought of into 8 channels and get the RSSI there as well. And I wanted to clear up a, a little bit about uh, exactly what telemetry you got, whether you use telemetry mode or not. Now if you're an old hat at OpenTX and you've used lots of fixed wing models, you've probably used this before. It's about changing the weight on the switches to get exact positions rather than just relying on a free position switch. But we'll, we'll go through that and I will try and film uh, my transmitter and the screen and potentially me. I would normally use this for flying little quads like this, but I'm actually going to film it on this one, but I, I'll be using this one anyway. Um, that's because this has got a bigger screen and it's easier to film, and I figure most people are using the X9D or the QX7 uh, instead of the x Lite. but um, I'll shout on this one, but I'll be working on this, really. Well, let's plug into Beta Flight and get going. Okay, so, this is uh, Beta Flight, as we would have seen, and what I've got at the moment in my modes uh, first off, this is D8, so I've got channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm kind of using all those channels. You see we only get down to Ox4 here. And if I have a look at my modes, I'm using Ox1, Ox2, Ox3, and Ox4. So I've got no room to push the telemetry signal back to the radio and have it appear on the OSD as RSSI. So, how do we do this? Well, first off... If we go to our mix and see exactly what we got here. If we look at um, channel 5, SG, what we have for the source is just SG, which is just the switch on the side here. And if I switch that, you'll see it going up and down that channel. And this is, this is the sort of easy way of um, adding a, a switch. You just add that at the source, and if it's three position switch, it'll go middle, high. If it's a two position switch, like the arm switch here, it'll go low and high. That's an aux two, as you can see there. So all we need to do is be able to squeeze a little bit more on this on this channel. So I've got, for example, um, flip over after crash, total mode, as aux four. So what if we were to put that as aux one and move it sort of up the end there, and then I would take these sort of ox one places and I'd sort of move them along. So make them a bit smaller, fit them in. I mean, what's that? That's, I wish you could rearrange this. So that's 1800. That's about there. See, plenty of space that, but that doesn't. It doesn't fit because we miss out angle sort of completely, and then we're we're up high. So here's what we do. And all we're doing is instead of saying we want it on SG, we set our mix as max. And then we put it on a switch. So same switch, but what you can see is as I go through the switch, it says down position, mid position, up position. So my up position is at 100 weight. So if we change the weight and we want to change that down, to, well, under 1200, and on the weight, that's kind of going to be sort of around the minus 100 mark. So we've now got it at minus 100, and we can see here that that is before angle, which means it's kind of um, acro mode. So if we get out of that, and we take a copy of that, and then we edit that one, And I'm going to keep the mix max, but this time I'm going to set the switch to mid position. And I'm going to change my weight up a bit, just so it falls into the angle. Just like that. Take another copy of that mix, edit that one. And for this one... I'm going to take the switch in the downwards position and I'm going to change the weight again so it falls into horizon. Right in the middle there, like so. So 
right, just do a quick save there, and we should find Staff that. Level, telemetry lost. Oops. Telemetry recovered. Manual. So we're acro, Staff angle, level. horizon. But then what? So we're out of positions here. So if we now go down to my flip over crash, we need to, to get it in there. But we can use the the normal uh, switch for that one, and the switch I'm using is on this radio, this this one here, and I'll have it all the way down. So let's again get a copy of that one, and then this is just a case of going into here and saying we want to do switch down. Taking the weight and zipping it way up. Into there, say 200. Now what I'm gonna also do in this mix is say I want it as a replace. So in other words, no matter what's happening on these other switches, as soon as I hit air mode all the way down, it goes down there and then returns to normal. Now it, it might be that you don't want to um, put these switches so you can go straight into Manual. like turtle mode or, or whatever without doing something else. Uh, and that's where logical switches come in and I'm not going to go through that right now because I don't think it's needed in this one but one thing I used to do in the olden days is have arm and air mode on the same thing so I would say don't let air mode be activated unless the the copter's already armed and use a logical switch for that one. But anyway, that gets us that bit sorted. Um, that, that's an example of how I'm doing it. And now I'm only using seven channels to do that. So what I can do is go down to channel eight, which I'm no longer using. And go ahead and delete that, which means I've got some uh, available, uh, well, an available channel to use as our site. Right now, let's come to telemetry. In the configuration here at the moment, I have got, I've got. If I turn telemetry on here now, a lot of people are confused about you need to have telemetry on to get our site. So let's put telemetry on and telemetry reboot it. Lost. Telemetry recovered. And I'll show you exactly what we get. So if we go up to the telemetry screen, and what I'm going to do is say, I'm going to delete all the sensors. And then I'm going to say, discover new sensors. And you can see there we get like 12, 13, sensors appear of all sorts of things and this is the telemetry information we're actually getting from beta flight so what i'm going to do is delete all those again so we're back to having nothing and back on beta flight i'm going to go into the configuration and i'm going to say we don't want telemetry save and reboot telemetry lost telemetry recovered so you notice it's still saying it has telemetry. And if I now say we want to discover new sensors, we just get a few, one of which is the RSSI, and A1 and A2 are the old, um, these are the old sensors you used to have on the sort of traditional free sky receivers with um, actual little ports for A1 and A2. I don't know if this is actually usable in this one, but what we do get is the RSSI. Now, I won't show you how to do this in great detail. Uh, there is a blog post on it, but essentially I've already created a little RSSI input here where I take my uh, telemetry RSSI and I declare it as a source called RSSI. I can then take this and uh, push it back to the receiver. So what I'm gonna do is go to my mix. now. Oops. 
just to make things a little bit quick I'd already set one up this is what it looks like and again take a look at the uh, the little blog post I did you can find out exactly how to do this but for me I'm just going to move this up to channel 8 and plonk it there like so and what we should see now if we go to the receiver tab is we've got on aux 4 which I'm now going to call the RSSI channel we've got some stuff happening and of course everything else we do is on the other channels like so and we can just check that reacts if I go into um, range mode and try and hold my cat this away you can see it sort of move around a bit and disappear it is within about a foot of the quad which is why it's not reacting particularly differently but I can now set that up on um, on the RSSI on the OSD and so we've got eight channels but the difference is what we've done is we've used specific mixes just to squeeze a little more in and we could you know we could put as many modes in there as, as we wanted but we'd have to get a little bit more elaborate with how we did it in the mixes and stuff so obviously the other thing I need to do is just pop it back on the OSD like so and save that uh, so this is what it now looks like on the quad and you can see we've got the RSSI there and we've got everything else available and this is going to be now be my sort of template for quads with an SPI receiver so in the past I haven't had a problem with D16 I did have with this one and I thought well I might as well just stick to what we have there now you might be able to fit your modes in no problems anyway and it's not a hassle and some people would question well do you really need turtle mode on, on something like this this review is coming up soon because you know you've got your props exposed and I would think normally no if I'm on the floor and I've got a quad like this where the, the props are on the floor I wouldn't turtle mode over but if you're in a tree and you're kind of hanging from one uh, prop it's quite handy to be able to use the other props to try and spin it out and, and can't wheel it out the tree somehow so this is this is why I have those modes um, and that's kind of what I like that's that's my set again if you've got certain modes that you want to run within one channel but you you're worried about accidentally flicking into those if one of the others is active then this is where a logical switch comes in I didn't want to cover that here because it's it's a subject on its own but if you're interested in how this works and you have an example of what you might like to do and what you don't want to have accidentally mixing together give us a shout and I'll see if that's uh, it might be a useful video to come up with later but anyway for now I'll get these uh, these quads configured properly I'll put it back on this controller and uh, go out and fly some stuff but I hope this video has been helpful for you guys that uh, might have wondered about putting extra modes on when you it looks like you've run out of space and uh, I'll catch you next one bye for now well you've made it to the end of the video so thanks once again for watching if you like what you saw then please consider subscribing and if you really like what you saw then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel